I was walking around in Brooklyn preparing for a new trap neuter return project when we saw a cat just sitting on the sidewalk asking for help. Hey buddy. A cat looking like this needs help immediately. It's covered in dirt, fleas, cuts and scratches, clearly not feeling well. I ran home and grabbed a carrier and some wet food. He didn't mind just walking right in. We named him Teddy. He reminded us of a worn, raggedy-eared old teddy bear, discarded and forgotten on the street. Bathing adult cats can be difficult, but when they're this dirty, there's no way around it. We used regular Dawn dish soap to get him clean and to get a head start on killing fleas. He also received the topical flea medication. It's clear that he had a home at some point. But unfixed male cats like Teddy have a strong urge to go outside and mate. They can often wander a mile away from their home, get lost, maybe eat something they shouldn't, or get in fights with other males over territory. Teddy had a long road ahead. Blood work showed compromised kidney function and anemia, and his urinalysis indicated a urinary tract infection. Although he wasn't gaining any weight yet, thankfully his appetite was stable. He began to groom himself a few weeks in. Although he seemed relatively stable, several weeks of blood tests and urinalysis showed that his kidney function was definitely compromised. We took him in for an ultrasound and an x-ray, which revealed mineral buildup in his left kidney and a narrowing in the right kidney. That explained the high blood pressure and the increased kidney values. While we figured out next steps for treatment, Teddy moved into a foster home. His new foster parents learned how to give him subcutaneous fluids and all of his medications, and he got tons of attention every day. Oh, we'll go. So it just sits yeah. under his skin. You yeah. want to make sure it doesn't go into his it goes like there, that's way. muscle. You want it to just sit like inside of his flat. Yeah, then. inside of the skin. After consulting with the surgical team at AMC, we needed a procedure to install a SUB device, which stands for Subcutaneous Ureteral Bypass, a device which bypasses his obstructed ureter to allow normal flow of urine from the kidney to the bladder. Permanent kidney damage can increase over time with an obstruction like this, so we immediately booked the surgery. The challenge is that this surgery is very expensive even with a nonprofit discount. Thankfully, people from around the world had been following Teddy's story and chipped in to make this procedure possible. say there are over 500,000 cats on the streets of New York City without a home. News Brooklyn reporter Paul of Assan is in Flatbush with more on how one cat lover is making a difference. 
He says his work is funded by cat lovers around the world, many of them donating money, volunteering, and opening their homes and their hearts. This couple learned about his work on Instagram. They sent a message hoping to help. With two cats of their own, they're fostering this one until he's adopted. Teddy's just, uh, I think, given us a dose of love that we didn't realize we needed. Just giving me lots of hope and positivity. It's hard to picture, but Teddy once roamed the streets without food. He is made for VIP life. Sometimes I just think about what he must have been going through out there on the street, because he's clearly meant for an indoor life with lots of affection. And he gets plenty of it. Yogi's got day. Teddy's big surgery day had finally arrived. Obviously we couldn't film that, but his vet team sent along some photos of them inspecting the sub device after it had been installed. Hi friends. Hi buddy. You seem to me dead. You hold it hold like it this, up. right? Mm -hmm. And then you stick the syringe. Hi boo boo. I love you. Even though he was eating most of his meals through a tube and taking a ton of different medications every day, Teddy remained in good spirits. It was amazing to see Teddy running and jumping for the first time, finally feeling like a normal cat. Of course, once a rescue cat is happy, healthy, and feeling better, it's time to say goodbye. Teddy was in our care and with a foster for seven months, 227 days since his initial rescue. And with that much time, a foster cat can feel like a member of the family. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> no. But we know he deserves to be the center of attention. 
to have his very own family that will spoil him every day. His own special VIP water fountain. His own big brother, Willie. Which means that every day is filled with Will and Ted's excellent adventures. It took a huge community of supporters from around the world to get him this far. And it will take an even bigger group of caring volunteers to solve this problem once and for all and to keep cats like Teddy from ever suffering on the street. I hope you'll join us. Hey buddy, 